What's up everybody, it's VGV, y'all know me, and today I am back with another video. So today I am gonna be showing you all how I prep for the beach. We only live like 30 minutes from the beach, and so we are gonna spend a lot of time at the beach this summer, and I kinda wanted to let you all know how I prep and have everything already ready, so if we spontaneously decide we wanna go to the beach, on a certain day, I have a space dedicated to just beach items, things that I can just grab, and it's already ready, and I can get our bag ready in about five, 10 minutes. So I kinda wanted to walk you all through that, give anyone who lives like in Hawaii, um, I live close to Destin, Florida, so anyone who like lives by a beach, Myrtle Beach, whatever, um, wherever you may be and you live by a beach and you wanna get some inspiration on how you kind of prepare your house for beach time, summertime. If you're interested in any of that, then stay tuned. All right, so right outside of my bedroom, right outside of my laundry room, I have this closet here. Me and my father-in-law did these like DIY cover up the wire shelf situation, so I'll be sure to show that to you all. But I wanted to show you all like how I have everything organized. So starting here in this bin, I have like clothes already ready or changing into like once you leave the beach. I have my boys in these little bags here. I have them change of clothes, undies, you know, shorts and a shirt. And then in these bags here, I have my husband some change of clothes and then myself some change of clothes. We don't always like change our clothes, but I like to put, change my boys because they may go to sleep on the way home and just so that they're in something fresh and not in any wet, sandy anything, I have that for them and then when they wake up they can take a bath or whatever. But typically, they go to sleep on the way home. So in this bin here, I have already prepped like our um, bathing suits and everything. So kind of like coordinating like with, you know, having our family kind of coordinate and match and everything. So I have like our boys swim trunks and then inside like I have like me a bath. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm about to drop it, <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, so I have like me, like my bathing suit, and I have my husband, his bathing suit in here. Yeah, I have everything kind of sorted out. We all have in these bags, like a swimsuit for all of us. It's kind of coordinated and everything, so we match and look cute, but I'm not scrambling to try to figure it out if we decide to go last minute, like if some family comes in, pops in, drops in on us, like we're already ready to go. So we had a lot of that last year, and I just want to avoid that that this year because I hate being stressed or rushed so if I already have it ready to go and we have busy lifestyles as y'all know well if you watch our family channel like if you watch our family channel you know like we wrestle we do a lot so I just wanted to already have it ready so like hey we just spontaneously decide we want to go and do something do a beach day or whatever we already have our clothes laid out and so let's see so then um, in this bin back here, I keep our boys' uh, toys. I wanna keep it at a minimum because I just, last year, we just had so many toys and it was just excessive and they didn't even play with them all. I have Ezra's like blow up SpongeBob in there, but I also got them these collapsible swim toys. But I'm getting ready to go to the beach right now, so I have that in my bog bag situation. Then back here I have plenty of powder of stocked up because baby powder is awesome to get the sand off. So I have that back there. Then I have some sunscreen. So I have that. I love the spray because I don't like to touch myself, like, you know, touch ourselves like when we're out there reapplying. I don't want to have like sand on my hands or whatever and then put sunscreen on. So yeah, I like the spray and then like just in the house or whatever, I love this Alba Hawaiian sunscreen and I use it like lotion. I really like it. So I have um, extra of that. You can never have too much sunscreen if you live in Florida. So that's that side there. And then here, I keep my like bog bag and I love this bag. It's so convenient for everything, but I have one dedicated to summer. So I keep it, it's so big that I can't like stand it up, which um, actually is very useful because I have like a 
um, a file system going on here where I can see like, okay, we have our towels, we have our like restroom if you want to go to the restroom and our restrooms like don't have toilet paper aren't that clean so we can take some wipes to the restroom have our first aid kit i have like food utensils and plates and spoons and everything like that i got our sunscreen um bug spray and this one i have like boy like our kids like spf like little hat and shirt to if it's too hot outside they can put that on so they don't get burnt and then i have their little goggles so I have those and then I also have their uh, swim shoes in here and then I let them wear their normal shoes to the to the beach to the car in the car and then they wear these when they get out and then when they get in the car they can put their fresh shoes back on and then I think this is super cute I haven't used it yet but I think this is nice that they can be able to collapse their um toys up into the small little contraption and we're not like lugging around a whole bunch of toys and stuff to the beach I feel like you know the the least that you can pack and be prepared the better because you just don't want to be fumbling around with a whole bunch of stuff but yeah I can kind of lay everything out for you all that's what I'm gonna do so just hold on real quick and I'll show y'all like exactly what I have in my like beach bag okay so like I was telling you all I love these little toys that I found I love anything that can kind of you know shrink up and get small and you know still be utilized or whatever I love this um, and then I love the mesh bag that it's in too so then it, we can easily kind of wash everything okay so I have everything laid out um, on our bed so I have these collapsible toy sand toys with this mesh bag that I really love and I'll be linking everything that I can possibly link I'll be linking it down below but I have these I love it it's cute I got it for them this year for Easter and then I have these I think they're Turkish they're Turkish uh, towels I got them from Etsy they're supposed to be waterproof unless you apply like a ton of pressure so you can use them to dry yourself but they're super lightweight like I can fit three of the, them in this bag they're big so they you know get big as um, when you pull them all out and then since they're so lightweight you can like easily sprinkle off the sand off of them there was like this really expensive brand that also sells the 100% Turkish cotton towels but they were like ridiculous so um, I just looked for Turkish cotton towels on Etsy and I found these and I fell in love with them I love the pattern I not only use them for towels but I also use them like for blankets and everything so like on my bed here here's a Turkish towel I have one here I got one over there on our chair so I just have uh, them kind of sprinkled throughout our house but I grabbed three put them in here and then so like if you're using it you got to do a number two <laughs> Uh, at the beach I have these WWE wipes that you know if someone wants to go use the number two the bathrooms are pretty nasty probably don't have tissue so our family is family of wipes so we use wipes so got those there they can just grab that and go and then here I have some spoons forks the little umbrellas that you can add to your drinks have some hand sanitizer I have wipes I have plates in here and I have napkins so yeah if you need any of that stuff you know we can just grab it and these this will probably always be stocked in this bag wipes moving on I also have uh, our first aid kit and let's see what do I have in here I have some more wipes <laughs> just always got wipes if you need to clean your hands or whatever I have some little sunscreen I don't know why I put that in there but it was like travel size I was like why not I have some tape for you know if you need to like tape up some gauze or whatever on yourself I have some emergency if you start to feel sick I have band-aids Neosporin Advil Tylenol cortisone 10, some cough drops, I have some Mucinex, I have, let's see, I have like some pain relief for children, like Tylenol for kids pretty much, a little chewable tablet. Uh, let's see, what else do I have in here? I'm trying to keep it organized. 
I have some aloe for if anyone gets sunburnt. We typically don't get sunburnt, but if we do, I put it in this little hand sanitizer bottle that was pretty much ran out. I have some gloves and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, a washcloth. Oh, and I have this like ointment for like, it kind of numbs, like if something that's like really sore, if you, I don't know, hurt your ankle or something in the water, it's not zooming in. But yeah, I grew up on this stuff, so it really helps with like bone pain, muscle pain. So I have that as well, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I have some uh, contact solution. I wear contacts, so I also have that in that bag. And then I have their swim shoes, of course, and they're cute and I'm not sure, I don't think I told y'all about this bag, but I just have sunscreen in here and bug, bug spray. Um, I also seen this aloe vera spray that I might get too. I just love anything that you could just spray on. You don't have to rub on, because again, all of the sand at the beach. Even though we do have baby powder, which is a great hack to you know put a little bit on your hands and the sand will just wipe right away. In this bag, I have them some little hats to uh, prevent them from the sun. It's, if it's too hot, too sunny outside, and then I also have in here these SPF little shirts for swimming. Um, I have one for Ezra. Um, AJ's allergic to polyester, so I have him like a little linen one, just if it's too hot and they are in like direct contact with the sun or something. Um, it's like right on them and it's bothering them, I'll give them that. And then here I have just little goggles for them. I love these popcorn ones, they're so cute. And then just some other goggles for like if they have friends that wanna go look under the water as well. And I don't have anything inside, but I love these little bags because you can put things on the outside, put things on the inside, and you can kinda like categorize it so you know like whatever's on the outside. It'll be something similar on the inside. Love baggages like that. Love packages that are clear so I can see what's going on. And yeah, so so that is pretty much everything that I have packed in my beach bag, my bog bag. I'm gonna put everything back inside of it and then I'll show y'all, you know, how I plan to rock it or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so everything fits perfectly inside. Then I'm just gonna toss their toilet, their their toys, their toys back on the top. And mama is ready to go as far as this goes. All right, so I have my ginormous bog bag with everything for the beach. I love it. I love the structure of it. And then I have my little cover up that I got, my orange bathing suit today, my little headband and my shoes. And yeah, I am ready to go as far as like stuff that I'm taking. I haven't packed our food and everything yet, but yeah, so this is like all the things I plan on taking to the beach every single time in our bog bag, just from lesson learned, learned from last year. So I'm also gonna be bringing this bag to the beach with us, and I love this bag. I got it from Target, it's so cute. But yeah, so I have in here, like I'm gonna keep some chains, some chapstick. I probably need to get some more change actually. I don't keep a lot of cash on me, but um, chapstick, lip gloss in here, probably my keys in here. I have the boys, their change of clothes for when we leave the beach. I have it in this bag, I love these little bags. And then I also have like another, it kind of feels like Turkish cotton, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's see, I got it from Ikea, but I thought it'd be nice on the beach and it's even bigger. And I wanna try to make like a chair with it. This is just like an experiment so I don't really know how it's gonna go but yeah so this is the type of uh, blanket that I got from Ikea if anyone's interested but yeah I'm probably gonna take that out on the beach as well it just looks really nice to lay on and yeah I have it all in this little bag oh yeah and I have the boys some sunglasses in here as well and like say I want to just walk and go get some boiled peanuts or something or go walk somewhere and take this instead of taking that big old bag with me I can just take this cute little bag and walk and go get, you know, ice cream or food or whatever. I plan to take food to the beach too, but you know, this is just a cute bag to take to the beach. It's just cute, first of all, it's just cute. You know, if I need to take it, walk it somewhere, go to the bathroom, whatever, I can just, it's easier to throw everything in here and go versus throw everything in this one and go. So this is another bag that I'm gonna be taking to the beach with me. I'm gonna pack everything back up. And so, yeah, it's cute. It definitely goes with my aesthetic. And so I will be taking this 
to the beach with us as well along with my bog bag but this is more to be cute to go places you know go other places outside of just like lugging everything to the beach the bog bag is more to like lug everything make sure we have everything and this is to like oh if we're going um you know we decide we want to go out to eat after the beach or whatever go to lunch at the beach whatever it may be this is more of the bag for that or if i were just to go to the beach by myself i would bring this bag so i love it as well but definitely not big enough to have everything in there for my family so yeah that is that and i have one more bag to show you all and that's like our food bag what i'm bringing as far as like snacks and stuff to the beach and yeah i'll show you all that in just a moment all right, so I got my bog bag, my cute little beach bag, and then I have our like thermostat or cooler bag, whatever. And I'm gonna show y'all what I have in here. So I have some food items that I prepared and I use plastic bags. I'm not like a big fan of using plastic bags all the time, you know, just for like environmental purposes and stuff. But just for convenience on the beach, putting items in plastic bags, I'll be able to just quickly dispose and I have to wash like a whole bunch of dishes when I come home um, just to make it easier on myself. I guess I can talk to y'all instead of having you look at a bag. My husband, he has a jet ski and i rather be a person that is friends with a person with jet ski of jet ski or a boat instead of owning one myself because there's a lot of maintenance that comes along with it so when we leave from the beach and we brought the jet ski to the beach and everything like that you have to wash it have to make sure you know nothing rust so you really have to wash it really good and everything it's a whole ritual that he likes to do and we normally help with that just so i don't have too much to do i gotta come home anyway shower the boys shower myself wash my hair it's a lot that goes on and dishes and putting away too much becomes like a daunting thing that i don't want to have to deal with so for that long drawn out explanation that's why i choose to do plastic bags anything disposable i love doing that kind of stuff at the beach that way i'm not bringing home a whole bunch of stuff back with me with sand all over and everything and having to put it back in the pantry wash it whatever i gotta do so yeah <laughs> back to the cooler bag all right yeah so yeah i have in this one i got some uh fried tofu i got some burgers for my husband and this one i have some naan uh, which is really good we got some bananas in here we have some of these sparkling waters we are hooked on these and they have artificial flavors in there so i know they are not good for you but on a beach that sparkle it's better than soda you know what i'm saying so you know we take these out on the beach they're cold and i'm excited about that i have them in the freezer all day i also have these freezer packs just to keep everything cool too i also fried up some okra yes all of this food will be cold by the time i get out there but it'll still probably taste good so i got some fried okra in here i have some chips different chips in here i just grabbed mainly the vegan ones some cheetos aj loves cheetos and then I also got in here some of these Uncrustables for Ezra and AJ. Yeah, I got a couple of those. I threw them in the bottom. So yeah, we just got food we can just grab whenever we're hungry. The Uncrustables. And then I also have a much needed trash bag to dispose of all of this once we are done. So I have like 10 trash bags in this little pouch here. And yeah, that is um, pretty much all of our food in a cooler bag to keep it cool or rather it cool than um hot on a hot summer day and then again this is how this bag looks i believe i got it from sam's I'm not quite sure i got it a couple of years ago so yeah it's uh still holding up but yeah so that's how that bag looks and we are ready for the beach i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope that it brought you tons of inspiration for the beach this summer if you live by the beach if you're just going to the beach just for vacation or whatever i hope this brought you tons of inspiration and yeah thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to catch you in my next one i hope you have a blessed and wonderful day Bye bye